making a delicious tomato mozzarella panini. Um, hopefully you've been to a lot of restaurants where they serve these. It's just a nice basic warm panini. Mostly just tomatoes and mozzarella, some basil, some olive oil, balsamic vinegar. It's basically all it is. It's nice, warm, delicious, quick and easy. Make it with me. So to start, get a skillet on your stove top and place it over medium low heat. Let it warm up a little bit. Then you're going to need to cut the bread for the panini. Uh, the recipe I had said to use a French deli roll and just cut it in half. I like sourdough a lot, so I'm just going to cut part of a sourdough off. So I'm going to cut off the end just because I want my pieces flat. And I'll just use this end for dipping. So cut your pieces. And I'm going to go pretty thin with mine. Use the best knives you have. My knives aren't that great. You're also going to need to slice the tomato for this recipe. So take your tomato, take off the stem, and then just slice it. I'm just going to I'm gonna slice it down the middle. And then from there just do thin slivers on each one. You can go as thin or as thick as you want. Depends on how much you like tomato. Um, it says to use a small one because it's just one single sandwich. So... I'm going medium size with my slices. Okay, now let's build our sandwich. So get your two slices of bread. I'm going to put mine on the outside so they don't get a lot of the tomato juice yet. And then it says a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, which is good stuff. And it says to uh, sprinkle the bread with it, which is kind of hard to do with a teaspoon measure. So sprinkle the two halves evenly, or as evenly as you can anyway. Okay. Then it says to layer down a slice of mozzarella cheese. Can do. I love mozzarella. It's not really difficult. I'm going to try to kind of tear mine a little bit. Shape them a little bit more like the bread. Okay, then put your tomato slices on top of that. See, I could have even have used a smaller tomato. I'm going to use a third slice of cheese as well, too. The recipe only called for two. This is more just basic cooking. It's throwing together a sandwich. So you can kind of feel free to do whatever you want. Make it however. Alright, there we go. There's our second slice of cheese. You know, baking something where you kind of have to follow the recipe more exact. <clears throat> but with cooking like this, you can kind of switch it up. Oh, it also called for four basil leaves. So get your basil leaves. I'm going to wash mine. Make sure you wash them. Pat them dry. And then it says put them on there. So I'm going to put mine on. It says put them with the tomatoes. So I guess I'll do what that said. Put them with the tomatoes. It says these four leaves. Uh, depends on the size of your sandwich. Mine's a lot more narrow. So I'm just going to attempt three. Okay. Put your other thing of bread on. Okay, I'm going to scoot it out of the way, eat these tomatoes on the side. And it says to rub it down with some olive oil. So I got my thing of some old olive oil here I need to use up. I'm just going to kind of drizzle it on very slowly if I can. It says kind of rub it, so I'm going to use my teaspoon from before and kind of rub that around. Get it on as much as I can. You don't want to soak it though, so be careful with that. Go, kind of rub that around. Oh, okay, that's probably a good amount. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna rub the other side as well. This is looking really good. Rub 
that side down as well. That looks delicious. All right, let's go get this on our skillet. Okay, we have our skillet and it's warm and ready. But here's another good trick to know. Use a second skillet, put it on top, and that presses it down and helps it cooking. Uh, I don't own a panini maker. They're kind of useless unless you're making panini all the time. So otherwise, you can just use this technique. Saves room in your kitchen. So get your sandwich. Put it on. Ooh, that sounds nice. Put your skillet on top of it. So I'm gonna... There we go. And it says do that for three minutes or until it's nice and golden brown on the bottom. Okay, it's been three minutes. So I'm going to take off... Uh, Take off our other skillet, <clears throat> the one that was helping press it down. Get our spatula under there. Okay. Flip it, see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's nice and golden brown. Get your skillet back on it. I'm going to say continue that for another two minutes. I'm going to go three minutes just because I don't think I was on the other side as much. And I might even turn it and cook it for another minute. We'll see. All right, I flip my panini around a few more times, and it's nice and golden now. So let's try a bite. Mmm, it's good. Tastes a lot like a sandwich you make at home. It's good though. I have nice ciabatta bread, nice mops. The tomatoes were good. I would add maybe a little bit more balsamic vinegar, just because I like it a lot myself. But it's your recipe; you do what you want. But if you want a nice, good panini, look no further.